Hi guys, this is Sagar from SG Unreal Creation. Welcome back. And uh, as you know that we already uh, work on third person shooter series. And in the last part of my video, uh, we already setting up, you know, this, uh, you know, a health pack. So we can pick health and uh, we can store in to, you know, here. Um, first of first of all I need to you know down the size by 720 so you can see so here we can see there is uh, we can add a health pack and when we need it we can use it right now we have less health when we press we can fill it so we already have one health pack left into you can call it backpack or something so now so we can use this you know press H oh man we already died so no problem you understand and into this we will make a you know um, door open kind of thing so player can get a keys from um, anywhere maybe on the floor maybe uh, 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 when you mm, uh, kill a any AI AI spawns some kind of uh, you know random that's why I name it random pickup maybe AI spawns some random things so maybe you get Intel maybe you get uh, health pack maybe you get uh, you know ammos maybe you get uh, keys to open you know doors so in order to uh, achieve all that uh, system we need to make uh, one you know door BP so we can use key to open door so first we need to complete all uh, some, you know system then we will bind everything with AI spawning thing and AI spawn a random pickup so so first we need to create a each kind of you know the <clears throat> uh, pickup so let's jump into so first we need to create one uh, first we, you you need to import a starter content because the you got free you know this door uh, this is uh, epic give free this uh, free door so you can use this door and it is totally free uh, what you can do is just a uh, go into add <clears throat> or or go into here uh, add feature content you just add it and go over here and here is that starter content so you need to add to your project so when you add it when you click add so it pops like over here into your content folder so your uh, your you need to go into a prop so here a lot of things but I remove it for down the size of my project so I only use this door and door frames okay so so after this we need to create a folder uh, name it door uh, door BP okay so open this and here we need one uh, blueprint and uh, actor name door underscore BP so we need to open this and uh, here we need some here we need a static mesh we same we do uh, a lot of time we do uh, pick up so we also uh, add widget widget into this and we need one uh, box collision so boxes collision is important because uh, and everything you can just uh, parent with the static mesh so here we just use door door so here is the SM door and don't do anything just um, where he spawn when you select it don't change any location okay everything set to be zero zero and zero 
we don't anchor we don't want to move this where it is leave it so it's perfect zero zero and zero okay after this uh, if you want you can use arrow to see where is your uh, exact uh, open location so we can use this as a reference it we don't use anything but it's just for reference so first of all just you know uh, take this and you have to just go into location and uh, here we need select zero and here we need uh, put seven negative 70 so it will go over here and X uh, Z is 100 okay after this we need a skill uh, box extended we need to extend this box so uh, need to just 80 you just type 80 and here we need a 70 type 70 and here we need a hundred like this enter and you get this kind of big box okay so don't do anything leave it like this I you know I invest a lot of time to why I fix like this so whenever your player is over here it can also you know when it's open for an example if your player is come over here when you press it F so it will close the door also so that's why I you know pull this uh, box over here so, and uh, the second thing we need uh, this so we need its location is 0 and negativity negativity 2 and this is just uh, 88.40 so it will go over here so yeah this is perfect so this is closed door so just copy copy oh sorry close and compile everything so now you just need to select this and right click and into here and overlap and right click and uh, begin overlap and end overlap we need this so same thing we do several time but uh, a little bit different so here we just cast to our character and your character is your character my is my so this is my sg character just control c control v if you want you can save his variable uh, reference as a reference so okay do it do sg ref sg ref as you know my uh, caps always you know on and off uh, so just copy and paste we always save reference from begin overlap and end overlap both in both cases so after this we just take this put it over here and we need this static mesh also same set custom depth so when you overlap it will highlight it your mesh and after this set visibility okay and after this we need a variable can be can door open or can we open door oh whatever can door open leave make this okay we need this but after something so first we need <clears throat> first we need one thing so into here uh, just uh, copy this control C control V paste it over here and do this and here on and here off when we and overlap 
okay and after this we need something just control C control V and here we uh, you know needs this into later but uh, here we check we save the reference here we check something and what we check uh, get key so as you know that we create a variable into uh, sg so corrector into a, a corrector we uh, create some you know uh, <coughs> integers uh, so this is a get key so we need to check if it is greater than or equal you know greater than equal if it is greater than equal to one then we can do something <coughs> otherwise we don't do anything because he don't have have any key to open the door so here we check and if it is true we do something and if it is not we do something so here we can if it is true right now just uh, we just need to uh, first of all get player controller so uh, here we just get player controller and uh, unable input so this is the unable input and it will always come with the target so target is this correct uh, this BP means this actor so we use input for this uh, you know this this actor so so hope you understand put this and after uh, enabling uh then we set this okay true and uh, if it is not b and begin overlap we just quickly unset it false and we do something over here so just right click <coughs> and um, we need a widget user widget get user widget object and we need to cast so we don't have any you know widget for this door so first we need to create it so what I do is just right click we'll go into widget blueprint create one door UI simple open this and here we just do a custom uh, here just put 2 to 0 Y width and height is just 70 okay and here we need a text and one image text put it over here and <clears throat> image also put it throw it through here so here we just need to anchor it to the center and uh, we need down the size to 15 okay and size to content and here we need uh, anything you put it over here but I leave blank but for a ref but to see what's going on we just simply put uh, text like open door sorry <laughs> open door and uh, press F close this okay so it looks better so this is center and we need to anchor it sorry we need to anchor this image also in center oh sorry upper center so we need this image so I already input one image where is that image yeah this is key icon so go into here just click this icon select that key and uh, like this so as I told you I always use a white icon so I can tint it like blue yeah looks blue looks good to me and leave this as because we need to change this according we have a key or not so we need to change this so how we can change this just if you want just copy this so we will use this and right click and key binding okay here we need to promote this to variable name text uh, key text or key text <laughs> key key text 
my bad habit okay you can name change the name you know but I leave this and uh, here if you want you you leave this a blank because we will change this name according to key into here so now we have a door UI so we can cast it and how we can cast you just need to select it over here and here this is set to world we need to change it to screen and then we use door UI after this exactly set same you know same 220 width and 70 height you just need to 220 don't forget this otherwise maybe your uh, widget go high and go low maybe so always use same you know size after this you just need to cast this widget from here because this is the widget and you set it over here into this and we need to cast it cast to same door UI and we need to cast because we need to change into something variable into this so we need to cast not not pure cast because if we want some returning then we just use a cast uh, <coughs> pure cast right now we need to change it something so here unplug this and go over here so now uh, set key key text and where this key text come as you know we just create one you know promote this into variable and save this over here so we just simply change it and uh, we just you know we just need this two times control C control V and here we can you know uh, when we have a key then we can open door oh sorry okay open door okay uh, F one space my typing speed is very slow as you know that so please forgive me I'm not good typist people are very fast to type but I'm I'm really very slow on that so after this we just go into here if we have a key you know greater than equals it means we have one key if we have one key then it is go into true we can open the door and this text will show up and if it is not find sorry again oh man find <laughs> oh man did you see my caps always on and off and find key key to open door okay find key to open door so right now we just if you want we just uh, for uh, it's it don't do anything I know but yeah because uh, we don't set it input after this but for you know for sake of uh, security reasons we just put it false okay after this this will uh, this will work fine and uh, here you need to set your widget uh, it is over here we just take this over here yeah I think it's it looks good into center of this knob so now everything is working if you want to see you just need to put this door into your level so if you put it over here like this and if you go so right now here <laughs> did you see the widget is uh, I've always forget this uh, by default it's a uh, we need to set it uh, hide you know we don't want to visible all the time so widget so when we overlap then it will automatically showing up 
into here <clears throat> so now we can check it you go over here and did you see find key to open door it's door 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 not sh showing properly why 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 so let me check widget 220 and 70 and we need to see we need to crank this value uh, first you need just copy control C and we need to check it over here why it's not properly show up uh, put it over here yeah this will go outside so just put it into the center so now it's okay so now you know that uh, your totally your widget properly show showing up so now you can check yeah door full so now we don't have any key to open this door so how can we open this door that that is not complete so what you just need to interaction tr action where is that we already created and put for item interaction we use this several times it's a f key so first of all what we wanna do we just need to check it's just security purpose it's not you know we just put it for you know extra secure uh, because uh, we already set input this input work when it's have a key but uh, we just you know do this for a good practicing maybe you sometime you forget anything so this will you know fix thing so um, after this what we gonna do we need to make a timeline 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 is very very useful I love timelines mm, uh, open door name it open open door oh man oh man open door okay we just need to open this door open this timeline and here we need to create a float name it open door okay and uh, after this we just need to point 70 time we just need small time to open this door and here you just need to press shift and uh, left click so you get a key left click and uh, press shift and left click and you get a key and this key is uh, from the start Z put the zero so it will automatically jump into zero time and after this this will this key is on this time final time 0 0.7 it automatically jump into 0 0.7 position this is also 0 0.7 0 is you know for uh, uh, 70 is uh, 0 0.7 by round so into here we just select this into 90 so it will jump into high so you just need to see uh, you just zoom out like this and this so you can see both so you just need to shift press shift to you know select both and after this you just need to smooth it out so how you can smooth you can press one on the keyboard or you just click on the auto so it will smooth your transition so your um, your uh, timeline goes smoothly it will quickly not open quickly it will smoothly open your door so after this we just need to do something and first we need to use this event begin play and uh, here we need a get actor rotation you need a actor rotation uh, actor rotation this is actor rotation and save this as a variable name it current rotation sorry I spell wrong row okay 
current rotation save it on the event begin play we just save his actor rotation this actor rotation so we use over here so what we can do just take this current and if you want to split it it will give you like this and if you you don't want this split uh, combine this you can break it also so both cases same thing uh, give you you can split it or you can just break it so we just need this what we need this yaw only not roll not pitch so okay we only need our yaw so what are we gonna do is just add float by float so do this so we need to plus you know whatever uh, current rotation is we plus we add uh, this update you know timeline so after this make make rot we need a make rotor so you just click uh, you know control and and it will you can drag and drop anywhere so after this we need a set actor relative location set actor relative sorry rotation not location we don't want to change location we just need to change a uh, rotation so it will you can just make clean things and after this we need one variable is door open question mark we don't know that is door is open or not so question mark is for that so here we need just put yes door is open and what we gonna do we don't create a different you know the good thing is timeline is there is a bunch of features you know play from start stop reverse uh, reverse from and uh, you know this is very helpful so that's why I love uh, you know the timeline so what you can do is just control C control V we just reverse this so here untake this you know and if you want to see just um, you know print a string so print a string very good practices you always use this print a string to check your uh, function is firing or not so it will very helpful and useful thing so um, do this always whenever you work on your project so uh, open door and here we just use a green color and put it over here so we can use this in later so control C control B here rad it's off you know close so we just uh, close door so it will close door and here what need to check if it our we need a branch it if everything is okay uh, we pass this you know can door is open uh, can door can door open so yeah if uh, our door can be open so what we can check is door is open or not if it is open then we need to close it and if it is not open we need to open as uh, uh, if it is closed we need to open this so here we need a reverse kind of thing so if it is a false because we uh, as you know that this is a uh, false by default so false we need to open and if it is true then we need to reverse it reverse it because we just copy this so we need to reverse if you want you just name it close door okay so everything here when it's true so it will check again and it will go over here and when it is false from here it will go into here okay so let me check very quickly after this okay we just go into here as we go oh we can't open we don't have any keys so 
and in the last video we already set a key uh, if you remember into master random you know uh, pick up so here we set a key also did you see so here we simple make uh, this key and put it over here and right now it has nothing but uh, we just need to you know put this uh, delete everything and what I do is just simple use one mesh for this to show so here I have one ammo yeah, ammo refill I you I use this as a card what I do is just down the size like I made this very thin and uh, uh, put like this like this uh, it looks better look like a card okay and uh, just put and so it will down on the floor so after this uh, you just need to bust only put uh, a mash so you can take this by pressing F so when I press this first we need to check this this is check find a key okay to open this door so we we'll come over here it highlighted when I press F it will destroy okay we got a key so now did you see the text is changed open door when we press F oh my god door is open and you can of the uh, close this door you can open this door you can close it. that's why I said the bonding box is a little bit big so you can easily open without you know you know without any break is you know way like this uh, don't do this you can just quickly over here you can open door pick the health you can fill press H H and you can go into your you know uh, cabin and hide hide there so we will create a cabin after this and uh, we set full door and cabins and we put a lot of uh, uh, you know things into that uh, like ammos you can go into cabin and pick ammos um, guns and so yeah we are on the way so it's open door so now he have a key so he can easily open it and what you can do is just uh, uh, go into here and just duplicate this uh, so we just name it key 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 only key UI so we can easily use this as a key uh, here just remove everything put key name uh, and here just if you want just F space so this is your key so it's it will easily make key UI and you can just if you want you can down the size so after this we can 220 and 70 so what you can do is go into here and into go into your key uh, BP and select over 220 and just 70 and uh, after this we need a screen we select key where is key yeah after this you just need to select this and you just this is your widget you just need to set it like this so if you go quickly into you know yeah here did you see okay <clears throat> the problem is code is working for for that also so just remove this binding remove this binding we don't need any you know thing let's just cl clear this clean this <clears throat> and now you can check there is a key and open door take the key open the door take health okay press edge fill health 
you can go over here close door yeah fine so thank you guys I hope this will really help for you for your project and um, please if you don't <clears throat> subscribe my channel if you are new on, on my channel I do tons of videos always um, so please uh, subscribe first and then uh, check my other uh, videos and uh, you can uh, join with me in FB page also so thank you guys hope this will help and uh, please don't forget to give me a like if you like my videos so I'll you know encourage and I do a lot of more tutorials to help you and <clears throat> uh, I mentioned one thing two guys uh, want uh, one guy want a uh, pistol how to implement pistol okay uh, I will do this in upcoming when we complete this door war and quest item and this that kind of stuff and one guy is uh, want to um, uh, fog and fog is very easy uh, you just need to put you know <clears throat> uh, where is that exponential fog you just need to find over here volumes into volumes you just need to put it over that uh, fog you type uh, I think uh, what the name is X exponential height fog yeah exponential height fog that kind of stuff so we will talk this later and uh, I will make a little video for that that not a big thing uh, but uh, yeah environmental fog you can put it also so <clears throat> uh, thank you guys uh, and uh, please uh, don't forget to like my videos see you bye bye